At the back of five consecutive losses this season, no one tipped the lacklustre Western Highlanders to spoil the party for the favourites and one of the form teams in this year's competition, Mandy Murrooks. As expected, Eagles came out with a plan to rattle the Mandy boys using their power play and aggression which was evident from the opening sets. The game was riddled with multiple handling errors and rough house tactics which did not go down well with the match referee. Two Eagles players were marched to the bean for bringing the game into disrepute. Murooks in the meantime kept their cool just going through their process until former Guria Terry Wapi scooped up a loose ball to put his team in front for nil. From another attacking raid, yes, David was next to score for a 10-point lead. Murooks' dominance continued with Mike Sposu scoring on the corner for a 14 nil lead. Eagles, after taking all the pressure, were able to regroup and find joy in Vincent Neri scoring from a whoppy fumble to trail 6-14 until halftime. In the second half, Eagles, led by their inspirational player coach Joe Joshua, sold some clients with the ball in hand, with Joshua scoring next to start the Eagles' comeback at 12-14. Winger Eliza Peter got his name on the score sheet with a corner try to put the Eagles in front for the first time in the contest, 16-14. From a penalty kick by Clint Lummer, Morooks got back on equal terms, 16 all. but as the time was ticking away, David Joseph potted a field goal to hit the lead again, 17-16. A last gap effort by Eagles paid off when Murrooks were penalised for a high tackle, with Eagles making sure of the kick to shock Murrooks right at the stroke of full time 18-17, and giving Eagles their first win of the season.